Yeah, it was a it was a great movie. Uh, a lot about the London rope scene. Um, uh, you, you can really see the community uh, down there and what they're able to do by now uh, once they set their mind to it. I actually loved every single bit of it, uh, especially the introduction where you mentioned uh, the fact that you had no idea what you were getting yourself into. Uh, you just knew some things, well you assumed some things and it turned out to be this huge community uh, which covers um, so many aspects of uh, trust, intimacy, uh, true, true bondage with ropes. Um, and I think the story was told beautifully. Wow, what an inspiring movie. It's so good to see the passion that people have for rope, the time they put into it, the, the way they love it, what, everything they do. It's just very inspiring to see that. But there's a very much of love in it, uh, combined with pain, but feeling and passion. And it's kind of a tantric sensation what you see among those people when they're doing it. And you put it in a movie very well. Uh, I think it was a great movie for, for uh, people in the bondage scene, but also for people outside, so they have a better understanding what it's all about. Because it's not just a sexual thing, but also an artistic expression in my book. I really love the rep representation of uh, female riggers at the end of the movie, because um, in kink media we're so used to seeing uh, women being tied up by men, and the part where it actually is turning around and you see women taking control and showing their more dominant side really made me happy, because I'm a female rigger myself, and seeing them um, doing it with so much passion and confidence it's just empowers me. It feels amazing to watch that. I had no expectations, but it exceeded all of them. I loved it. It was how I see the scene now, and I think it's how people should see the scene. So please go and watch that movie.